Good day, everybody, and welcome to Dad Bods, a Let's Play series where me and another dad play some games. On this first episode of Firewatch, we set the stage, explore the wilderness, and realize that we would not survive long out out in the wild, and we don't know what fire watchers do. That's the first thing that people are going to hear. <laughs> Go ahead. Is your Joaquin Phoenix Joker laugh. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Is this funny? <laughs> there we go. Hi, everybody. Hey. 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 Welcome to a new series called Dad Bods. Dad Bods. Because we have Dad Bods. Yeah. And it's two dads playing video games. I have two kids. And he's got one. And together we got dead bods. <laughs> dead bods, I'm at risk of diabetes. I got the diabetes. <laughs> one time, I ran out of ice cream and struck my wife. <laughs> then I found out my wife's been dead for 30 years. Who the hell did I hit? <laughs> I'm you're like, you're like the old man from Up. <laughs> Get off my property! He tried to kill that kid, eh? So, yeah, We're playing either. Firewatch. We're playing Firewatch today. Just in case anyone <laughs> wanted that story. And I haven't played anything on the uh, PlayStation for a while, so... What is that button? Uh, that's the... Uh, o? It's the O around it. How do I press the O and the <laughs> X at the same time? What's the deal? <laughs> oh, now it takes me here. Okay, we're going new. And I'm going... On the first save file. I deleted it because I had started playing this with Mallory. Did you actually? So I deleted it. <sighs> Just like I did her for my life. <laughs> Except I still played Dungeons and Dragons with her. Oh, do you actually? I do. Oh. Campo Santo. We're fine. Panic Inc. is never a good name for a company. This is going to be a nice, relaxing game. Who made it? Panic Inc.? Panink. The 70s. Boulder, Colorado. Fun fact about Boulder, Colorado. It's the uh, birthplace of Crocs. You see Julia. Do I, though? I think you have to press X. Oh. Or is it, you see Julia. Okay, orange means you have to do something. Got it. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed well -dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. Hi, Julia. You, Henry... Or out drinking with your pals, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you approach her. You are drunk. Oh, fuck yeah. So, which one are you going to choose? Before you click it, tell me which one you're going to choose so that I can read it. <laughs> you. You're pretty. You know what? You can read the orange. Okay. I like that. Well, <laughs> I like that better than me. You know what you're going to choose. You have to press it. I like you. You're pretty, she says coolly. Oh, that's not how I said it. <laughs> You're pretty. You are not. You are a future hangover. <laughs> what? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Whoa! Me and Julia are going to... Fuck! Juice pack! Juice pack! Oh, here you go. I hope this is like mist. Use the wheelchair. Oh, it's your backpack. That <laughs> <laughs> was a wheelchair, too. Oh, yay! Oh. I think that's your truck, seeing as it's the only vehicle in this fucking parking lot. I am a firefighter. I am the last fire of Watch. <laughs> Not even firefighter, just. I am Firewatch! I am the last ranger! I'm just gonna walk it. <laughs> Vehicle? I like nature. Uh, I need a pass to get out. Look. Shit. Oh. Like, <laughs> get in the back. You didn't what? close the back. You're gonna lose that backpack like yeah, two. Fucking move You're gonna. You date for over a year. Yeah, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Mm -hmm. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. This is going to end in Julia you, dying. <laughs> you two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. I swear to God, if they describe a sex scene, I'm going to freak. Your cock is thrust inside <laughs> of her. 
She Julia. groans in pleasure. Leans back. Her vaginal lids split to allow you. Her vagina is drooling. Life is good. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. You already got one, baby. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. Aww. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Ooh, do you want bucket or mayhem? Ooh. Oh, brother. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> they make it sound like you need to protect her. Well, I'm going to get bucket... Then get Bucket. This is your character. Bucket. Oh, this is Bark. Did you hear that? Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. May who? <laughs> Julia loves him. You love him too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bucket. Sometimes you just get... 1979. Oh. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. She asks. Kids? They're not even smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Kids complicate things. Oh, that's on... I hope my wife's not watching. <laughs> Two dads playing a game? Fuck kids! Get fuck the fuck kids. out of here! Don't do it, bitch! It's bad! No! No, no! She looks away. One of your kids, she's got you for 18 years. I ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> uh, she looks away, out towards the mountains. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of time, right? Oh, that's you. You have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Now she's Harley Quinn. Oh, Mr. J, Mr. J. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. <laughs> one day, okay? The next question's gonna be... Okay, one day, she says. You murder her. <laughs> Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. That sounds like a wonderful engagement. Sunday morning, rain is falling. You are fat. Look at those hands. Yeah. I like the way you hold it. Like, we need to see you. Look, you lost the backpack. It's gone, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am playing a video game. Welcome to Nearly Competent. Uh, do you want to go back? No, no I don't. I want to look around. Maybe, there, maybe there's <laughs> That was a quick look around. <laughs> maybe there's trophies. Maybe this is just, just like, uh... I like the animation. Nathan Drake. Yeah. I love this. Like shell Satan? Shell share shell share? Shell share shell? Can you look at the board, man? Holy fucking balls. It's an exploration game. Like, do you want to see where you are? I thought you could interact you with are. people. <laughs> You're in their country. <laughs> Two forks, uh. Is that where you are? I don't know. There's no... Oh, maybe that. No. Supply drop. No, where does it say you are? Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country. Just a bunch of gay guys. <laughs> We're bears. Hi. I guess gay guys can talk normal too. Well, look, they have a. Uh, it has a heart, so yeah, it's obviously gay guys. Well, that is a heart. Yeah. That's clever. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Oh, where's that? There's Thoroughfare Basin. I imagine Thoroughfare. <laughs> Thoroughfire Thunder Canyon. It's like, it's like over on the <laughs> other side. You see that canyon? Welcome to Thunder Canyon. George Strait lives here. Where's the canyon? It's right in the middle of the map, man. Oh, yeah, Thunder Canyon. <laughs> no, Canyon. 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 Right here. The, uh. It's very canon. It's in all the books. Gotta love Nick Cannon. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I need a gun. <laughs> Fade to black! No, 1980 now. Oh, good. Back to the future. 
It's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do you get mad or do you ignore her? I'm, I'm an angry drunk. You're not drunk, she is. <laughs> well, I'm also drunk. Oh, okay. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Hmm. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> I'm a firefighter. So obviously I'm going to frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Slob. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Why? Julia! <laughs> I'm just going to stab myself. <laughs> the end. The forest burns down. <laughs> I really like the animation. I love this animation. Oh, I figured out how to run. Oh, shit, we're going to get by this twice. Oh. What did that sign say? I don't care. Fuck it! <laughs> Two forks. Eight more miles still. Jesus, fuck. I'm pretty sure if you... If... Oh, God. Oh, so great. During the summers, you and Ju Julia enjoy walking... Julia! I forgot that you had a dog named Bucket. I was like, you're just walking around with a bucket? <laughs> Walk Bucket at night. Yep. I love Bucket. It's a good day for fishing. It's a great day. Every day is a good day for fishing. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Immigrant! No, I'm just kidding. I... <laughs> bucket gets kicked. <gasps> b b b fuck d d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. God. No, I want to scare him. I want you reach I, into your I love Julia. I love Julia. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of Oh, all three of you. I thought there were three of them. I was like, Jesus! He had friend He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. That sounds nicer. Yeah. I love walking by the river. Why would you walk through a festival? It's busy. What the fuck? Oh, also, you walk through a festival and no one else helped you? Yeah. Jesus. Julia gets offered a job at maybe, Yale. Maybe you're on the Ferris wheel. Oh, I love this. Julia. <laughs> Give me your money. Crap, we're at the top! Huh? <laughs> Wait till we get to the bottom. No. Uh, Julia gets, got, gets a, offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles... That doesn't sound right. Away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Ooh, we're getting into the thick of our marriages. Okay. Mine ended, so don't do my decisions. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Here's the question. Who is Henry? What kind of man is he? Even though we're not having children, are we still having sex? Is Julia hot? Does she still have an undergrad body? These are the questions I want to know. I need more details. I need more details. You can't throw this decision at me. I... Am I building Julia by answering these questions? Is she just going to be like a Walmart attendee I, you, by the end? You are building... Uh -huh. Why you're where you are? I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, well, then why the fuck ask questions? But like, it, by, by, do my decisions decide whether she she's like fat or? Ugly so if you choose it? agree if she commutes back and forth, Rita McNeil. <laughs> fuck! I fucking love you. Have me at Rita McNeil. You ask her if she'll commute back Lord and forth. Lord, Lord, Lord. You don't want to move to Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I said that. She said that that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. That sounds delightful. Yeah. That's a good compromise. I mean, I don't know. Depending on how I feel about 
Julia, I might move. Julia. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Sounds like this uh, colleague needs to get his fucking own books. He needs to get his she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You gotta read what you choose. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. That's a good decision. I well love, done, Dave. I love Julia. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be some self blub blub fed up 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 skip it up up must be might blub fat I'm a scat man Excuse me. Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is forty one. You both decide to keep it a secret. I didn't decide that. For now. You decide I didn't. You decide. We're gonna have sex in that tank. I am the last lantern. This is your journal. Yeah, he's got fat hands. Oh <laughs> bleep. Bleep that out. No, I am a fat out. man. That looks exactly like me. Did Not you exactly. Stack my ice cube trays, you fucking serial killer. <laughs> stack? Hey, you put one on top of the other. What's wrong with that? Don't do that. What's wrong with that? Don't stack my shit. Pretty sneaky, sis. What's wrong with stacking? Oh, that's a lot of rub. You ever played Jenga? That's not the point of Jenga. Oh, I did. The point of Jenga. <laughs> What's going on? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. That's good. Back to work. Yeah. I actually don't remember this game. <laughs> 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. That's like 25% pay. Shit. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Uh, I should have had children. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Five her minutes. dad is at the door. <laughs> Five minutes is enough time. I'm, I'm good. I've come three times. <laughs> you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia. She's Australian? I would have loved to have a little Australian kids. Oh, you messed up. That That's information should up. have come earlier. For a while, your friends come by with little... They should have told you she's fucking Australian. That's kind of big information. Yeah. She gets worse. Fuck you. Not you, Julia. Not to mention my backpack. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel. The nurse. Ooh. <laughs> he suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. I do like that they give you the tough decisions. Like, they're just like, so Jeez. do you... Give her to a home, or do you take care of her? Do you want Bulbasaur or Charmander? Those are two very different people. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna take care of her. God, I love this animation. Uh, I know, I was like, I think I want you to go that way. <laughs> oh. Ah, tree! Ah. There's so many trees! Ah. Where am I? Julia! Julia! Do, Do I, I have the early onset? And Miss May Wife! <laughs> Who the hell did I hit? <laughs> oh, it blocks you, eh? It doesn't let you go. Well, yeah. It doesn't let you go. Cause fuck Have you this. ever been on a hike? God, this game is so <laughs> linear. Basic. That's why we chose it. So FYI, for people who don't know, we've kind of oh. given up on Resident Evil. 
We were... I, I wasn't enjoying it as much as I... Oh. <laughs> Ma! Huh. <laughs> um, it is... A, your dick is impossible. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird thing to cut to. Because <laughs> you're looking at the fucking... Ma! <laughs> The worst is when you get mad at her. It gets harder. It rage, really. <laughs> like when she tries to cook her. God, you're so stupid. <laughs> Look at where you're, you're cooking. <laughs> you can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. Aww. <laughs> when she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. <laughs> Drinking. Yeah, because you fucking took the pill and didn't get any. Drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer. College basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. That's... No! She's like a child at this point. You can't leave her. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up. Yeah, because you're a fucking idiot. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. (laughs) So what are you going to do? Are you going to lock her in the room like a serial killer? Or do you trust... Ah, you'll be fine. Lock her in the room. I want to see what happens. (laughs) You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. Wow. You look forward to those nights. Mm. Me and Sheila are going to get it on. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10. Jesus! David! Oh no. Uh, and the, the. Oh, you you lock her in. Oh my god. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law, Su- oh, Susan. Fucking Susan. You know what's worse than a Karen? A Susan. Susan. <laughs> Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia because you locked her in a fucking room. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Here we go. Mine. You take it. Just like you, that deer. You take ah! it. Ah! <laughs> that was a maj- so majestic. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My god. So majestic. Gotcha, we dear. should do Split Personality Luigi's Mansion 3. It's good. I haven't beaten it, but I've played it. Yeah. I'll and that it. that's a, a very mechanical. Yep. Or we could do two player, and one of us could be oh, Luigi. Oh, I think. Oh, it's, it's, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Enter the lookout oh, tower. Don't fucking tell me what to do. The voice actor in this game is actually a really good voice actor. Oh really? Yeah, he was in Mad Men. Is it Troy Barker? No, he was in Mad Men. Troy. Troy Ackerman. Ackerman. I hope I'm gonna find like a fire hose. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come on, fire! <laughs> okay, here's my first question. Can you die? No. They don't let you die. No. No. S- Susan won't let Julia! you die. Julia! Julia! Oh, someone conveniently. Julia! Julia! Put rocks all around the edges. So that what? I can't climb them. Oh, good. I did get a thank you for the beers. I thought my neighbor was mad at me. That's why I oh. gave her the beers. I was like, hmm. Oh, hop over that. Yeah. Ooh, your legs are fucked. Fucking fit. Oh, it's Shadow. Okay. I was like, your legs look like shit, man. Yeah, I'm like fucking 50. <laughs> Although, You're 40. look how fast I can climb this thing. That was. You're speedy. Very boarded up. Are you sure about this? You you sure you should be here? Look, Look, there's another one. That's where I am. Hey, 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 David! (laughs) Do you remember me? Oh, we'll do that, would it? Oh, it's just a ledge. Oh, that looks fun. (laughs) <laughs> okay that would be a great Stop. place to kill myself <laughs> okay what, no! what I want from you 
is I want you before you leave we're gonna take a photo of me and we're gonna I'm gonna send you Completely this cut naked. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you're gonna super a tiny dot of me going hey <laughs> <laughs> with jizz coming out of my dick <laughs> I blew too hard! <laughs> Blue balls is a real affliction! Those. Ooh. Ooh. Can I light them on fire? <laughs> no! Fire watch! <laughs> watch You're fire! Like, watch fire! What are you doing? Watching fire? <laughs> That's not the job! <laughs> you watch for fire! Oh, that was not made clear in the ad. In all fairness, I am from Boulder. <laughs> we don't get much fire. Turn on the power. Turn on the power. Oh, well, this is a nice cozy place. You got a stove. Oh. <laughs> like, you gotta... my, my hands are like Team Fortress. <laughs> right. You, can you respond? Hello. Oh, no. I think you gotta go down. No. <laughs> Oh, next reply. There you go. Got it. What? Um, hello? Oh, weird. Oh. Can you hear that? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Do you recognize that voice? So, what's wrong with you? Have you ever watched Mad Men? People take this job to get Henry Cavill! So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? The Witcher himself. You hiked for two days? Ooh. Forever. Can you hear this? We should turn on subtitles. <laughs> wow. Right off the bat, too. <coughs> what are you doing? It was in the main... Why would you go into this version? It was right there! Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Why would you go the... I didn't read all the I ways. wanted to take the deep. I saw settings and I was like, I'm going for the settings. road less traveled. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it. <laughs> Fucking flake it. Here we go. Okay. Him. Rich Salmer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? So you didn't respond fast enough. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Confident. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.